Hello Legioners and welcome back, we're here with another part of the 1212 AD campaign as the Abbasid Caliphate and in the last part, um, well we started our war with the Ayyubid Sultanate and um, yeah we've had a little bit of a break from this uh, Let's Play itself um, we've just kind of been uh, doing Siege Week so obviously that's kind of involved this uh, but we are now back after Siege Week is over, I hope you guys all enjoyed it and uh, yes we are back at this and we're going to try and get this finished I'm going to try and certainly get a couple more of these promises taken and I think we could probably get it done in certainly one to two parts. Um, I just need to avoid fighting these two big stacks here. Uh, to like, well, certainly together. I don't want to fight them. I'd rather split them up and take them on one by one. Um, but we will see what we can do. Right, so I'm, the plan is, I think, is I'm going to reconvene at Damascus. Uh, because this army's not strong enough to do any fighting of its own. And I'm going to just retreat. It's very frustrating because I could probably have done it. But we'll go back in here. This isn't even a full stack either. I need to remember that. Um, but yeah, so we've got... So I've not got masses I can do that. I'm going to wait for this ar these armies to kind of freshen up. Got one that's not even a full stack there either. And where are the rest of my armies? Uh, since uh, we've been talking about... While we're talking about full stacks and stuff. I've got one over here. In Van, which is slowly getting... Uh, it's a f I can probably start moving that one in two turns. This one... Um, why? Are we, oh yeah, we're getting rid of that because Islam is going down. Okay, right, so we're going to end the turn. Machine, you need stuff. You can have uh, authority and you can have a decorated Quran and then you can have authority and up in the tax. More tax, meaning more soldiers. That's how it works, right? Um... But yeah, so I hope you guys have all been enjoying the content at the moment. Uh, I would like to thank you all for all the support recently on the channel. Uh, all the likes, all the subscribing, all the comments. Uh, just keep it up, guys. I really appreciate it all. And um, yeah, when we wrap up this uh, Let's Play, we will be starting another one uh, shortly after. I just have to th find something that I'll uh, enjoy and want to sit down and do a lot of. Um, there are some ideas that are coming to mind. Uh, I may do a poll. A few guys have a look and sit, um, to make the decision for me. If you uh, would like to take part in that poll, it will probably be on the Discord. Uh, my Discord server. So if you haven't joined my Discord server, the link is down below in the description. And feel free to join. Uh, we do do lots of other stuff there. Um, along with a tournament currently going on. There is a Rome 2 tournament going on on my Discord. Uh, if you'd like to take part in future tournaments, then... Uh, well, you know what to do. Hit that link. But yeah, so we are... Getting to the end of this, uh, well, end turn, nothing seems to have happened. The Ubids have uh, been dormant. They dare not come out and attack us and face us. I may go uh, like a double pronged attack, go for Alexandria and also go for Jerusalem. I've got enough armies that when they're all fresh and healthy enough, we could do just that. Also good if I can wait for my allies to turn up. Uh, there's been a rebellion in Antioch. And we've had a consumption. I'm going to have a rebellion there. Pay him off. We we uh, we can afford to pay people off. And there's going to be a rebellion in Acre. That's just fine. We've got an army base ready. Uh, you're still going down. You're also not too happy. Not sure how I can make Antioch any happier. Uh, mainly because it's... Like a basically a fully upgraded city, and I guess I'm just a, it's a matter of time waiting until. Uh, well, On the move, my lord. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I could recruit some pretty cheap stuff. It's going to take one or two turns. I'm going to recruit some rubbish archers. Fighters. I agree. The lord does need fighters, uh, and in this case, he's getting awful, awful fighters. And there we go. Can do that. And then you have got an upgrade apparently for just standing here and recruiting stuff. Good for you. Uh yeah, put an on in integrity. There you go. You're you're looking great. Why has France got a spy here? I'll never know. If I try and assassinate him, we've got a good chance. Um Yeah, both these armies still being here, bit of an issue. Oh, you missed. Oh, brilliant. Uh, anyway, can you reach? You could reach Damascus. It might just be a better idea to go and besiege a Quaver. It's not got the greatest of garrisons. Uh, 
Jerusalem has got a sizable garrison in fairness. Bologna is here, and they are at war with me. So this is becoming a bit of an issue. And my economy just tanked for some reason. Did I recruit a load of stuff? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Yeah, I don't know why. I guess some reason. There'll be some reason. I don't know. Um, plaza. Let's convert this. I like how I've got to convert all these places, even though. Um, well, I literally uh, have the same religion as these guys. Oh yes, this is so different uh, to how it is in the Ayyubid Sultanate. Uh, you cannot have the same thing. I don't know. What am I even on about? But it's wheat farms. We need we need more wheat, obviously. Don't have enough wheat these days. Um, and then this army up here. I kind of want to move this army. It's got one more turn. It'll be fine. But my fa famous last words. It will be fine. Um, I don't really want more Nafatoons. Who wants Naf Who wants actually wants Nafatoons in their army? Seriously, looks at them. I, I mean, I've got them. <laughs> They're funny. Okay, they are funny. Just throw... Funny little fire pots and they explode and do silly things. And this army... I swear I had an army in the east. But maybe not. Oh yeah, it's minus three it's going and then this one's going. Minus eleven actually, that one's a bit of an issue. Yeah, I swear I have an army that's like come all the way from the east. I think it might be this... This one? Yeah, it's this weird convoluted one here, just as of Allah that needs to... Get a move on and do something. Uh, well, we've got plenty of cav coming up next turn, so we could do that. What is the strength of this one looking like? It's, uh, it's looking okay. We're going to end the turn again. Uh, I've got a provincial governor I may assign. Aka, Avaz, Aleppo. Ah, uh, is it Avaz usually the unhappy one? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, I think it is, but so we'll just put some guy in. Taskmaster, leader. Who have we got here? And we've got Khalid. A landowner. Yes. Well, let's make... I'm going to change it and I'm going to put it in for a bit. There's a different one I'd like to put in. I think it's Nishapur, isn't it? It's doing so badly. Yes. It was. There we go, Nishapur. You have your fun times doing stuff. That's probably why the economy's gone so terrible. Um, I actually probably need to put that in. 6,000... Build a bigger, bigger and better pleasure house. We've got a footwire house here as well. Probably need to do something with that. And then this could also probably do being upgraded, but I don't know. I don't know. Why are you so unhappy then? Food. You have a lack of food. Indeed you do, actually. Probably do a upgrade in this. Hmm. Anyway, we will end the turn. And we will find ways to make Nishapur happy. But yes, the empire is getting so big now, it's slightly getting unmanageable. Um, we will have to see whether we can sort that out. Uh, we may need some more armies. As uh, as I'm seeing, <laughs> they're, they're getting ever so closer to the, of the uh, Christian armies. They're constantly just battering through what is left of the, uh, well, what is left of Islam. We'll call it like that, which is probably why I'm also losing money, because uh, there's no more trade now going on. With these people. Because they're dying. At a very quick rate. Uh, are you bits? I'd love peace, but no. I'd love to offer peace. I hope you start moving stuff on. Because you're going to die. I'm literally, I think, going to have this army in the north up here. This one I'm kind of horroring with my cursor. Probably putting out fires along this entire coast for the entire rest of the game. I don't really want to have this army dedicated to doing that either. Oh, good to see Bologna's moved on. I might get the army that's recruiting there, uh, which is just about to finish, to go and strike Alexandria and just take it out for me because I'm sick and tired of just waiting until they move out of uh, a Quaver. And that might move them on. Rebellion there in Acre. There you go. They've started a fire. They've only gone and started some fires in Damascus. How dare they? How very dare they? They have as well. They've actually gone and done a decent job of it. Let's start killing some of these people. 
I will see it done. By any Can we have some of these people killed? There we go. Now they escaped death. Now it's going to go all the way back to France to go and, I don't know, repopulate. Can you move? Attack this guy. Pride of Islam. If you're the pride of Islam, you'll execute these men for me. Excellent. Dead. Right. Dealt with. Move on. Uh, you can go into Antioch for now, because Antioch is about to rebel again. Put out a fire that it was already needing putting out. Right, and then you... There's an army here already. Jeez. Real issue here with the old armies. Um, what is the strength looking like? 99, that's pretty good. Right, we're going in. We're going in. I don't even care. I'm going to send you in. You're going in. And I want the biggest stack. You go in. So that means you have to do guard duty. Actually, why don't I send the Justice of Al... Which one? Would I? I'd rather have all the cav, actually. I'd rather have all the cav with all the elite stuff that just of, of Allah can bring. Um, you can, uh, yeah, have harass and then extort. I guess that you just do that. That's why not. Extort, extorting people's not a bad thing to do. And then you can assassinate this person you over here, sir. Do that. And you can go all. The way. Oh no, the other one was Holy Roman Empire. This one goes all the way back to France. And he narrowly escapes. Why is everyone narrowly escaping? We've got like a, I don't know, like some sort of bad aim. Well, clearly. That's obvious. Uh, minus eight, hey? Religious differences. It's not sorting itself out. I was about to say it is, but it's just not. Uh, this army over here can just deal with any fires that need putting out. That's kind of how I'm just going to play this now. A lot of fire putting out. It's got to that stage that it is basically just fire putting out. Um, Al Jawaf. Yeah, have a garrison thing. Because. Actually, wait a minute. Can we build anything in Nishapur that will upgrade or make it any better? Istafan, you're looking okay. Nishapur. Yes. Build me a big pleasure house where we can make everyone really happy and not rebel and kill us. And that will end the turn when this guy's had his stuff done. There you go. For years, have that. And then you can have... I don't know. That. Just to keep it relatively happy. It's not happy with war weariness. Well, I'm sorry that we're at war with half of Europe. But I didn't choose that. They decided to go to war with me. I don't know what it's going to require to come and beat them either. It might require me going into their lands and killing them. But we're not playing that far. We're going to unite what is left of the Abbasid Empire, which is just North Africa. And then we're going to end this game. Well, not even all of North Africa. It's only to Egypt. After that, I just could not care. Please, Pisa, you be the one that takes it. Because then at least it's like a blockade between just the English coming. Because they're the only ones that look like they have any chance of getting over here. But they're still busy besieging down some random people in the desert. But that, then again, that's what I am. Just a load of random people in the desert. And here we go. We're finally going to do it. It looks like they're not going to attack me at Jerusalem. We can take Jerusalem. And then we can move on to Alexandria. Probably. I'm probably just going to leave a quaver. I don't, wanna, I don't really want to go and assault that place with two flipping armies just cooped up in there. Uh, no, I won't go to war with the Georgians. Just because you're at war with the Georgians, I shall not. There we go. Almohad Caliphate. Someone's been destroyed. Rebellion's imminent. And I've got to build something on... Because we have a certain religion. Well, shame about that. Oh, no. Let me guess. They're dead. That's why I don't have military access with them anymore. There. I'm auto resolving this. That's 5,000 men attacking like a mere 1,000 peasants defending a sea. But we take and drew some. That's the more important thing. There we go. We can now keep that for ourselves. Apparently, we don't need to change the mosque. Good to see. Uh, destroy. Destroy. I'll rebuild that and I'm going to destroy that. 
And then let's put in ourselves a very nice. Oh, we've already got a pleasure house going on here. Well, we won't have another one then, will we? Could have a Chovagan Games. Yeah, why not? Let's put in that. And then let's have some militia quarters going on. That sounds lovely. Lovely. Uh, you're still fairly fresh, and you're also still fairly fresh. I mean, I'm going to move you all the way to the doors of Alexandria, and I don't care. We will do big risks. Ah, Quabe is now unoccupied. I probably should have just done that with spies and I could have found out. Well, that's good. I'm glad that they're unoccupied. Uh, right, what have you got that we could put in? Let's put in, I don't know, the command for cavalry? Oh, no, let's... I mean, I have got some bows. Uh... Mm, yeah, okay, we'll put in, I don't know, we'll just put in something. Wasn't really too bothered about what, uh, what I gave him. Authority, yes. And zeal, more. This is, oh, it's my faction leader. No wonder he's absolute amazing. Uh, Scourge of Christianity. Damascus, you're so, slowly going to sort yourself out. I don't really need to be here anymore. Minus 10, yeah, I'll be fine. You, sir. Uh, just siege him out. We take this settlement. For you, my Jerusalem, uh, this man here. Oh, this is uh, for the army. Okay, right. This one I kind of do care a little bit more about. But, again, there's not masses that I'm like, yes, this is what I want. I'm going to go melee attack. I guess I could go down here and do enemy morale, but not really worth it. Um, let's just kill this guy. It still takes forever, I think, in like, these games just to like upgrade them. I don't know what else I'd have to do to make these armies just so goddamn strong. There we go, we finally killed one of these guys. We have another army here. Um, you could actually go and garrison Damascus for temporarily. Temporarily. So you go and do that. Uh, good on you. And Kufa, I could upgrade that. Oh, this guy needs upgrading. Well, good for him. He can also have preaching in there. There, it's just too easy, too quick to do. Uh, Vaz, oh, you're okay actually now. Um, Kerman, you look, you're, you're, you're neutral. We'll leave it at that. Nothing much else going on there. Um, and then Nomadic Settlement. I guess we upgrade to sort, sort out the food. Um, whether that does actually sort it out, we'll never know. Uh, we've got Consumption of Merv. It's still loving life, though. It doesn't care that it's got, like, people dying in the street. Uh, people throwing up and just, you know, collapsing for just any old reason. Oh, this is my heir and my king. Jeez. This, this might be a bit dicey then, actually. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. End the turn. So we could take it to Quaber next turn. I've got like three armies that can just swoop in there and help my uh, army that's just chilling there. And then we've got two going for Alexandria. And we can take out a small stack there. Then we've got Cairo uh, within our sights and Mirza Mutra as well. But I mean, most of these places that I think I can probably take and rebuild quite quickly. Just low tier stuff. And they should be okay. Um... Yeah, there's <laughs> not much else to say about it. We can do some stuff. Uh, it'll be really cheap and quick. It just sounds like the British government, to be honest, actually. Um, but we'll see what happens. I don't really care about any of you in the East. Or the West, that is. The East, I've, I control the entire of the East. Uh, and then the Ayubids. I bet we'll come revisit Equaver. Oh, no, they're just going to abandon Alexandria. Great play, uh, uh, Ubids. I mean, that's what I'd do as well if I was about to be besieged. I would also just abandon the city, which I'm pretty sure is probably their capital now. Actually, no, Cairo might be their capital. Um, yeah, I think it is actually their capital, Cairo. But still, Alexandria, a pretty big city, probably very prosperous. I would also abandon it. At this point, it still has its liar house. I'm pretty sure that's mm, shouldn't have that at this point. I guess they just didn't bother changing the model of the city from Attila when it may have had its lighthouse still. Uh, Akka had a rebellion. No surprise there. We've got another one about to happen in Sis. So we'll, uh, well, we'll deal with them in turn. There we go. We'll just besiege that. I probably could actually... I'm just going to leave this one here. Just, you know, keep an eye on it. Uh, Jerusalem? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen worse. 
Uh, just look at the Holy Land, for instance. It's a lot worse. That's the point. Uh, yep. Just take a Quaver quickly. That'll do. He's dead. We lost a mere 300 men. We occupy. And a Quaver is ours. And now we, uh, well, we, we build some stuff, I guess. Um, we should actually probably do some stuff here in... I'm going to make this a... Yeah, I don't really care for this to be anything else. Pleasure House, yes. That... Um, there was one that basically made this, I want, where's the one that, oh, I could have a bazaar, ooh, we could have a bazaar, yeah, why not, let's have a bazaar in Jerusalem, a bazaar bazaar, it is a bazaar city, wheat fields, there we go, minus 98, we're going to need to upgrade that quite a bit, that's probably why Jerusalem's not looking so hot, yeah, minus 20. Ready for battle. Just because of food. Right, integrity. Uh, oh, yeah, have that, sure. Then zeal. Yes. Right, then you, sir. Start moving westward as well. With your gold chevron army. Jeez. Um, ah. I've seen where their armies are now. Yeah. Um... Not so sure what I'm going to do about that. Uh, let's repair these and we'll knock that one down, I guess. A camel train or bed... Uh, um, actually, I'd rather... I'd rather rebuild the camels and knock down the Bedouin. And then, yeah, let's go and put out another fire in the in the Holy Land with this 19 stack. I can't even be bothered to build it one more. Right. Uh, and then we'll have to go north to deal with Sis because that's about to have a rebellion as well. Fun times. Just putting out fires with blood. Yep, that's us. I mean, it's just about to have a rebellion in two turns time again. Like, literally, what am I supposed to do with these? I mean, at least Antioch's sort of uh, sorting itself out. I mean, Sis is not. We'll just put it like that. It is not. Sunni Islam is actually going up, though. Um, probably due to this being here rather than the mosque. I actually probably am better with Akka having the... Actually, uh, yeah, it's, it's still going up. I could probably do with bringing over some of my imams. Can I build an imam? That's an idea. I cannot. Damn it. I want imams. Um, but yeah, so we found their armies. Uh, they're down there. I don't really care, to be honest. Um, I've got armies scattered around here. I could probably send this one up from Jerusalem just temporarily. Keep an eye on it. I might actually just keep an eye on it. Minus 27, that'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine, he says. Uh, unassigned skill. Yep, okay, you can have that. And you can have morale when defending. Though you rarely defend at the moment. You just seem to attack and murder people. Also known as rebels. Um, which we just don't care about. There you go. They've rebelled. Orthodox rebels this time. Excellent stuff. Um, so yes, we'll we'll deal with them. As and when. I believe Silesia is also rebelling itself. And the rebels are about to take the city. I just sort of glimpsed and saw that. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Pisa's just about to finish off my last ally in... The West, which is annoying. Ah, good to see Tunis rebelled. Um, that's at least one bit less of Christian stain in North Africa. We don't want to see any more of that there. Shame I can't trade with those rebels. Uh, yeah, there you go. You can see Silesia has uh, actually pulled away. Uh, its rebels have. And I don't know whether Nicaea helped them or what. Or maybe just the Silesian rebels are cowards. And I didn't realise that army was there. So Van may go under siege in a moment. Excellent. Um, it's got a relatively good garrison. I didn't even realise it was at war with the Mongols, to be honest. Of course the Mongols will attack when I'm in... Uh, oh my gosh, Alani's got some stacks. No, sorry. Uh, yeah, they've literally sent up their entire army to deal with that. So, um, right... Oh my god, Nishapur's about to rebel. Right. Um, right, so let's 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 be civil about this. Aggressive. Kill this man. 
I wonder how far I'm off Imperium before I can just build another quick, cheap army in Nishapur. Let's have a look. How much <laughs> I really could do with... Oh, I'm so close. I'm so close. So I might actually get it and save Nishapur from Rebellion. Okay, I'm going to put this army in Force March and it can go all the way around here. And that should probably keep it safe. Malati is actually quite happy now, so we can keep that there. You're going... Oh, so we're going to put a Marga in there or whatever it's called. That should help the spread a bit more. Um, Homs, yeah, you're okay. I'm not really going to mess with that. Uh, Damascus is actually going up now as well, so that's okay. I'm going to probably just leave that, not touch that. Um, those armies are all still there. They uh, seem quite happy just to be content and stand there. That's fine with me. This can convert to a castle. Going to carry on to need that for a little longer. I'll have a pleasure house. We'll have our... Uh, Small bazaar, maybe. Oh, let's have uh, let's have some Chovgun games, or whatever it's called, and then let's put in a nice wheat farm and some camels. And then uh, you're the one attacking, aren't you? Yeah, there we go. Attack, take this. Um, I actually could put a vassal in here. I don't really want to. I could make the Mamluks uh, vassals and then have some very cool units, but. I'm just not interested. I will take it for myself. Yeah, I believe I could do that. Uh, repair, repair. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Oh, we can repair that. It is not of our... It doesn't agree with us, but we'll keep it. And we'll knock that down. There we go, right. And then upgrade you. Oh, the army. Morale, yes. And replenishment, please. Need all the replenishment we can get. Right. We didn't quite get it then. I didn't realize how bad Nishapur is. Surely Nishapur is not going to rebel. Is it just because of food? It is, actually. It's just because of... We're sorting out your food just now. Calm down. Um, but we're a couple of turns away from uh, it. We can probably get there with a couple of turns. In, and then put it down. 14 should be enough. Should be. Uh, why have I got this catapult? I don't want that. Actually, I probably should have kept that. That's pretty handy with that catapult. Might have helped us uh, with some sieges. If we ever had to go and siege them. But yeah, this is actually looks... Siege levies, come on. Get it together. Siege levies is what you're going to use to throw at me. Get out of here. Get out of here. And then we'll go down to Cairo with this army. There we go. We'll just carry on moving them on. Uh, you can actually start sieging Cairo, weird army, with all the weird Persian stuff and Armenians. The way is blocked, the way is blocked by your own army. Uh, put in a siege tower, and Cairo shall be ours. There we go. I'm really stretching my lines of uh, communication right now. I probably could send this army back to Aquaba, but I don't really want to. Or not to Aquaba, back into the east. I might send this one from Alexandria and send this one... Uh, back, because I don't really... I mean, there's actually two places down here I could go for. This is worth nothing. What's happened here? It's worth nothing every turn. And it's a goal sermon. It's bizarre. Bizarre is my bizarre I'm building in Jerusalem. Um, but yes, we'll see. I just am a bit concerned about that rebellion in uh, Nishapur. And there's no allies around, to, like allied armies around just to go and put it down for me, which would be very appreciative. But um, it only builds a few uh, units a turn, so we should be fine. And they also build some really weird rosters. So, but by the time that the army, that 14 stacks over there, we should be okay. Um, I'll just quickly first put down the Golden Horde. I mean, my other army that uh, could probably stretch and cover the entire northern border if it needs to. I might just make peace with the Golden Horde. I really should have just done that at the end of my turn, shouldn't I? Um... But, I mean, when the Ayubid armies, like, are finished, then I could definitely... Ah, they split up. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, we could definitely go for them now. And he's just going to go deeper into my territory. Excellent. Um, it's not really a big issue. He's got a really awful army. I'm going to just make peace with him in a moment. And he's probably going to be like, yes. Please, that's fine with us. I, because I just could not care about fighting the Golden Horde right now. I don't think anyone else I'm like, allied with is at war with the Golden Horde. Yeah, you're not at war with the Golden Horde, for instance. So why should I care about them? 
Uh, Nishapur's rebelled. Akka has rebelled. There we go. There are the issues. Uh, we've had a sandstorm in Alexandria. Yikes. Right. Uh, there you are. Do not waste men. Words. How, how much money will it require better. to give you to make peace? If I did the whole 23,000. Oh, I can't actually offer more than that. Why can I not offer? I've got more money than that. Oh, it's demand. That's why. Ah, that's high. Ah. It was it was never that much that it would require. Uh, 4,000. And we'll bribe you off with 4,000. Very well. A bit more. Ah, arrange a marriage. I could offer you a daughter. Would that suffice? I'm sure they'd love one of my daughters. Uh, that's high. Uh, yeah, let's just take, take the 7,000. I don't really care. Uh, yeah, they don't want any of my daughters. That's a shame. Uh, but yeah, there we go. We nullified that threat. I did not really care to fight them. I just want to get over here and fight the Nishapurs. Oh, it's, oh, it's a Quasmarines. They're back. Oh, God. If you haven't watched all the uh, earlier episodes of this campaign, I do recommend you go and do so. But I did have a long old war with the Quasmarine Empire. And, uh, yes. It was a uh, pain, painstakingly long. We'll say that for the least. Uh, there we go. We'll build a mosque there. Akka is having a rebellion again. As it does on a regular basis. I'm not quite sure how there's any people left in Akka for me to uh, actually subjugate and kill. But we're finding some. On the move, my lord. Uh, we actually can't kill them this turn, I don't think. Alive. No, we can't. Alright, so they live another turn. Uh, that's actually kind of okay. Akka's can just do his thing. I might have a battle there in a moment, but I'm first going to take Cairo off their hands. Uh, with the the weird Armenian army. It's not just Armenians. It's also just anyone that we found in the Mongol Empire, basically. The old Mongol Empire. Yeah, we've got like Turkic archers and all sorts of... Per we've got some Persians. Yeah, that one was a bit more painful uh, to take. It would seem. Uh, anyway, upgrades. Uh, let's first do... Oh, your replenishment's great. Um, you know experience. And then weak spots, I think. Uh, yeah, melee defense, we no, never, we don't really do any defending now. We just, it's just all out attack. Right. Um, we will, hmm. Hmm. I could attack with this 16 stack on the 12 stack. Actually, wait a minute. These armies are tiny. Let's do this. Alexandria probably will need some rebuilding or some altering. Let's knock that down again. Uh, let's convert that to a wall city. And then that's it, it would seem. I, To be honest, I don't really want this. I'm very much against having a Bedouin. Whatever. It's not because I hate Bedouins. It's because it doesn't do much for my food situation here. Which, is, in fairness, is not that awful. It could be worse. Um, but we will see. Um, anyway, right. We will We will just... Uh, oh, I don't know. We'll move this army down here to a Quaver. So that will do. Um, and we will see where we can go through that. Our economy's actually recovered relatively well, so that's that's something. We'll say that. Uh, that's something. Um, oh my god, there's all sorts of people over here in this corner. Have I see, found all these people? I have. That's a shame. Well I can offer you. I can offer you daughters. How much money? Oh, they want it. That would be high. How much? Moderate, hey? Yeah, that's what I thought. I want some. Get some Be links welcome. with you guys up here. Uh, speak for my that's high as well, but I want to see whether these guys, you know, do they the need any marriages? You man. do need a marriage. Be I thought you might. And speak as Very as strong, hey? Ten grand? Nah, I didn't think it would be that much, would it? Low. Five grand? High. Ooh. Six grand? Moderate. Rude. That's rude. She's a lovely daughter. She, Her dowry is certainly worth... 5,300. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. Now I can go and rebuild some stuff in Alexandria. With all of this extra money that I've got from selling off some of my doors. That's just awful, isn't it? Uh, militia crossbow. And then let's convert this to camels. More camels, the better. I, if I always say, more camels, the better. Um, let's knock this down. Let's rebuild that. I will rebuild the yarn hut. And what's this? A macab. Yeah, I'll rebuild that. I'll knock that down. I'll knock that down. There we go. 
sorted. Right, so I'm probably going to wrap up the episode here today, guys. Um, it leaves us with one, two, three summons to take in the next part. That should be it. There is oh, a few tiny little summons left holding us between the Crusaders. Actually, that's held now by uh, their Rebel versions. So that's okay. Um, but yeah, we are running out of allies, actually, to be fair. Um, as you can see here. It's not looking so not looking so great. Um, but we are a big boy now. We are huge. We go from, like, the borders of India. Well, nearly to... Uh, well, we're into Egypt now, but we're nearly into... Uh, North, well, like, North Africa as well. So that'll be excellent. So if you've enjoyed them, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.